Provost here, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. So after we did the video going over, you know, uh, Elite Four characters and, you know, uh, the ones that are in the game and the ones that are actually not in the game yet and uh, went over some potential picks they could have had, right, or, or could have in the future when they do eventually come to the game because I do believe that all, most, at least, most uh, major characters in, you know, the Pokemon games will come to Masters eventually uh let's go over um another i guess uh popular uh, you know do the popular request as i move my face cap down there because i'm blocking for elio um uh we'll we'll go over the protagonists um today right so of all the categories of characters the protagonists are probably the hardest to predict just because they're the protagonists they could theoretically choose any Pokemon because it's your main character, you know, your main character could catch whatever, right? So, um, in order to make this, I guess, a bit easier, let's put a few, um, you know, restrictions on the character. So, this, and, and I only have this one restriction, right? Because looking at every single, uh, protagonist that's already in the game, right? Red, um, well, we don't have regular red, we have Signature Red, right? But Signature Red has... Uh, Charizard, right? Charizard, Mega Charizard X. Uh, Ethan has Typhlosion. Brandon has Sceptile. Um, Hilbert has Oshawott. Uh, Calum has Meowstic. Um, Rosa has Superior. Hilda has a Tepig. Um, Lyra has Meganium. Dawn is getting Turtwig soon. Um, who else? Oh, Leaf, Leaf has Eevee. And Chris has Fraligator. So every single one of them has a Pokemon that's from their generation. So to make this, I guess, a bit, you know, slightly more restrictive in terms of the units that they could choose, we're gonna restrict them to um, only from their generation because that does seem to be like the pattern at the moment, right? Well, every one of the protagonists that are in the game do have a, a Pokemon that's from their generation. So. Let's actually, let's go over the ones that aren't in the game yet, right? So, from the earliest to latest, so the first one is, you know, Gen 3. We don't have May yet. Please come in May. <laughs> Please, May. If they don't release May in May, that's such a box opportunity. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. You know, a lot of people say, oh, her Japanese is May. Okay, but her English name is May. <laughs> Why does Japanese have, you know, her Japanese name has present this is a global game right uh but yeah hopefully may does come out in may um that'd be pretty cool um please do this please and uh yeah uh so for gen 3 we're missing may gen 4 we're missing lucas right also missing dawn but dawn's already confirmed coming with turtwig right uh moving on gen 5 we're missing nate um allegedly as he's called <laughs> um gen 6 we're missing serena and gen 7 we're missing both uh celine and elio right so let's go over them one by one. So first, let's go over May. May is a tough one to really give it a unit, right? Um, well, they're all pretty tough, but there is like one thing that might make it like less tough because um, Brandon's character is based on the ORAS version of Brandon, right? He has the whole, you know, the mega whatever, right? Um, bracelet, I think it's a <laughs> mega bracelet, right? Um, so let's just jump to Omega Ruby on Alpha Sapphire. Um, uh, a version of May. So, aside from the starter, her units aren't really expansive. Her only, I guess, Gen 3 units that she really has um, Shroomish, Whalmer, right? Um, and then she gets Swellow later on, right? Markari was you know, obviously not Gen 3. Um, and, you know, so isn't Raichu. Oh, one more thing that I do want to check. Do they all start off? with their first form. Again, Signature Suit Red doesn't count because he's Signature Suit. He starts with first form. He starts with first form. Um, he starts with first form. First form. First form, right? First form, first form. Eevee doesn't have an evolution. And, oh, they all start with first form as well. So, okay, okay. I guess that's another hint. Uh, but, so he here's a few options. Um, the most obvious pick, honestly, is just Mudkip, just because you know, it's a starter, protagonist, you know, protagonists and starters are kind of like a thing, right? <laughs> because every protagonist, uh, no matter who you are, 
uh, you will have to you you have to pick a starter or else you can't even play the game, right? So uh, the most obvious pick at the moment is Mudkip, just because uh, both Torchic and, um, and, and and Trico are taken, right? Torchic's with the main character, which by the way it does. It, it's not evolving yet, but it will evolve eventually, just because it's you know it's built in um, into its sync with that that it will evolve, right? And then we have uh, Brendan with um, Trico, which are, uh, obviously already evolves um, all the way to Sepdal. So again, uh, the really the, the the most obvious pick for me is um, Mudkip all the way to Swampert. I guess another pick would be I guess Taillow into Swallow, maybe Shroomish into Berloom, and Whalmer into Whale Lord. Although of those three, you know, those three aren't as likely a Swampert, right? But um, I guess I can see potentially it being Swallow just because she has like Swallow across, uh, uh, you know, all three versions, right? Um, you know, it doesn't matter which starter you choose. Uh, the one constant um, is is Swallow, right? Because you know sometimes she has Whale Lord, sometimes she has Breloom, right? Never has, you know. Um, it, uh, it, either one of them in, in all three scenarios, right? So I guess the most likely scenario is Swampert followed by a Swallow, followed by either Breloom or or Whalord. So that's May. Um, moving on, let's get to uh, let's get to Lucas, right? Um, Lucas is tough because the dude doesn't really do much, right? Um, in the Diamond Pearl games. So aside from the starters, which by the way are all picked, right? So we can't give him a starter. Barry has um, Empoleon. Um, Dawn is getting the Torterra, Flint has Infernape, so for Lucas, the other Pokemon he has, Clefairy and Cadaver, all aren't from the fourth generation, right? So if I were to guess, maybe it would be Bidoof, just because, you know, Bidoof's a relatively popular Pokemon, for one, and also, um, it's the tutorial Pokemon he catches for you, because, um, as a rival, not as a protagonist, but as a rival, um, he is a Ro Rowan, Professor Rowan's assistant, and then he does teach, you know, the main character how to catch a Pokemon, and he uses uh, Bidoof as an example, and he catches a Bidoof, so maybe it's going to be Bidoof. That's, I guess, my only guess. Moving on to Nate. Nate is unfortunate because all the, um, all, all, all the starters are picking, picking, picked already, right? Um, Hilbert's got the, got the water starter, um, Rosa's got the grass type starter, and then um, Hilda got the fire type star uh, starter, right? And then his other units are like the elemental monkeys, if you know he's your multi battle partner, right? And we all know who the you know the the, the elemental monkeys are gonna go to. Other than that, like his units, um, he does have like battle subway Pokemon, so these are just way too hard to to really um, speculate on. But if the Japanese leaks are true. Then again, which they, you know they could not be true, right? They, they they could be you know again it's not confirmed or whatever. But if the Japanese leaks are true, Nate could get bikini. So there's that. It's just because I really have nothing else to go off of. So maybe he'll get bikini. Who knows? Uh, moving on to Serena. Serena is uh, Serena is interesting, right? Here's the thing about. Gen 6 Pokemon. There's not a lot of Gen 6 Synchros in the game, and if you look at Serena's Pokemon, um, a lot of people say Absol, right? Absol is a really popular pick, and, you know, is it possible? Sure, but just based on precedent, Absol is not a Gen 6 Pokemon, right? Um, could it be Absol? Maybe, but the thing holding it back is just, again, Absol is not a Gen 6 Pokemon. So, what would be another, you know, likely scenario for Serena? Could be one of the starters. None of the starters from Gen, Gen 6 are picked yet, right? So, it could be one of the starters. Um, either Chespin, um, Froki, or, or uh, Fennekin, right? Could be one of those three. Um, I guess it could also, maybe, uh, if I could scroll all the way up, uh, Fleshing into Talonflame, even though she doesn't, you know, she doesn't have the bird <laughs> later on, which is slightly unfortunate. But, um... I guess that could also be an option, right, for for Serena. So there's that as well. So either one of the starters, or or I guess Fennekin, or not Fennekin, or um, Fletchling, or I guess maybe Absol. But then again, do keep in mind, Absol is a Gen 3 Pokemon, and none of the protagonists protagonists have used any Pokemon outside of their own generation yet. So again, do keep that in mind. Moving on to Elio and Celine, we have 
literally no info to go off of because um, Elio has never been like a rival before, so Elio's just always been the main character, right? Um, same, for, same for Celine, right? Unlike, uh, you know, uh, unlike a lot of um, the other protagonists, which also doubles as like a rival or, or they have like some other NPC role in the game, these two don't really have that, right? So if we were to speculate, then maybe starters, right? Um, Rallette, Poplio, or um, you know, Tora Cat, whatever it's called again, right? Um, could be one of those, right? Um, that's a possibility. Uh, but other than that, I really don't know, because again, they just haven't had much to go off of like a game, right? Um, although, that being said, there's one more possibility for all of these uh, characters, right? And we'll go over them really shortly is legendary events. They could come with legendary events, potentially, right? Uh, so for example, May, May could come with some Gen 3 legendary event, right? I don't think May would come with, you know, any of the legendary trio. Well, well, Ripley's already picked, but, um, you know, in terms of that, could it be one of the mythicals? Maybe Drachi? I don't see her getting Deoxys either. Maybe May could get Drachi. Um, again, I don't see her getting Kyogre or, or Groudon. It could be, you know, Maxi slash Archie who, who, who gets Kyogre or Groudon, right? Um, maybe Latios or Latios. That could be a possibility because, um, in RAS, right? I don't think she's gonna get any of the Regis. Could be, Regis could be like Brandon or someone, right? Um, but in RAS, you do befriend Latios slash Latios and you use them to Sort, which by the way, why isn't Sort back in the new games? I loved Sort in, in Omega Ruby Alpha Sabra. Uh, but yeah, it could be one of uh, Latios and Latios and they could, you know, potentially Mega later in the future as well. So if I were to pick a Legendary for May, I think the highest possibility would be Latios slash, slash Latios, right? If she were to appear in a Legendary event. So moving on, Lucas, Gen 4. Gen 4 Legendaries, there's a lot of Gen 4 Legendaries, right? Could be one of the, uh, you know, the Lake Legendaries that's uh, heavily tied, you know, to the story, right? Um, to Gen 4 story. Mesprit. Mesprit's the main one, right? It's right out of, it, you know, Twin, uh, Twin Leaf Town, right? Um, uh, Mesprit's Lake. So, if I were to guess, out of these three, Mesprit would be a really, you know, great possibility for, for Lucas, right? As for any of the others, I mean, he could he could get either Dialga or Palkia, right? These are these two are also possibilities. Giratina, I don't think so. If if Cyrus was were to get one of these three, it'd probably be Giratina. Um, but yeah, uh, those are also possibilities. Three mythicals. I I, I don't see him getting Arceus. Um, Manaphy, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Darkrai, eh? Shaman. Nah. Like, may he, like he's a maybe on like all of these, but it, again, it, if I were to like bet on which legendary he would get if he does come in the legendary event or, or some other event, right? Um, legendary Jason event <laughs> or legendary arena thing, right? Just whatever legendary thing, right? It'd probably be Mesprit just because of the you know heavy ties. Uh, the oops, the uh, Gen Four protagonists have with Mesprit, right? So, there's that. Moving on to Nate. Nate, Nate we already discussed. Um, if the Japanese leaks are correct, it would be uh, Victini, right? Could be almost any of the other Gen 5. You know, in terms of mythicals, maybe, uh, maybe not Genesec. Maybe not Genesec. Um, other Gen 5 Pokemon. He could get, like, one of these. The ones that N doesn't pick, right? He could, like, get the other one. Uh, I don't think he's getting Kyurem. What else? Uh, Sword of Justice folks, then eh, maybe not. You're more likely to get killed here than any, any of these, right? Maybe Landorus, who knows. Um, but moving on to Serena. Serena, in terms of Gen uh, Gen 6 legendaries, Gen 6 legendaries are kind of weird. Um, I don't think she's getting Null or, or, or Sylvalli, right? That's clearly going to be like Gladian or something, right? Um, as for. Let's go over the mythicals first. Could it be Diancy? Maybe. Hoopa? I don't think so. Hoopa's, you know, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the poem Ash's story, Hoopa, I would 
if it were to be with anyone, it'd probably be either Lear or the main character. Like, it's, he's, or, or I guess maybe Paulo. He's heavily tied into the Fallen Master's main story, so I don't think Serena's gonna get Hoopa. I, there's almost like a 0% chance that Serena gets Hoopa. Uh, Volcania, probably not. Uh, Miyana, the or Megiana, whatever, right? Probably not either. I mean, it could be a possibility. Dante, these two could be possibilities. Um, it's Xerneas, I would think, is a possibility. I don't think she would get Evolthal, right? Evolthal is more of like a Lysander thing. Although I do think Lysander might get uh, Pyro instead, but it, it's possible he gets Evolthal, right? Because um, he like literally gets Evolthal in the game. Uh, Zygarde, probably not. Um, but moving on to Elio and, 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 and Celine, right? These two, there's a lot to choose from, right? Because, like, also all these Ultra Beasts, right? Although I don't think, I don't, I don't think they're going to get any of the Ultra Beasts, honestly. Um, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Uh, they could get, you know, one of the Tapus, right? Maybe Elio get, like, Tapu Coco, and then Celine gets, like, Tapu Lele or something. Or Elio gets Tapu Bulu, Celine gets Tapu Finny, maybe. Um, so Gal is already taken. Lunala. I mean, Lily's getting Kofari, so maybe, maybe one of them could get Lunala. One of them meaning Celine, because, you know, that's more fitting, right? Um, the Krasma, probably not. Any of the... Yeah, I don't, I don't see them getting any of the mythicals either, so... Yeah, it would be it, it, if they were to come with a legendary event. It's probably gonna be one, of, uh, you know, gonna be with the top ooze maybe, right? So, anyways, um, that's me for this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about all these picks. Again, really, really tough picks. Protagonists are tough to pick because, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, they could literally have anyone in the game. <laughs> they're the main characters. They, you know, they're 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 all of them have the job to fill the Pokédex, which means. Fill the Pokedex means capture, you know, get every single Pokemon. So, <laughs> a bit tough there. But anyways, um, that, again, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like and videos, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon content. I'll see you guys in the next one.